Hey Prehistoric Pets fans. Well, I'm going to cut the clutch today uh, because this is uh, could likely be my last clutch here at Prehistoric Pets. Sorry Tim. I, um, I, I'm i moving on, moving into another industry. So this was a clutch that I was really excited for. The label's a little bit wrong, but this is a super dwarf head albino female bred to a dwarf lavender sunfire genetic stripe male. So hoping for some purple sunfire super dwarf dwarf you know double head for snow stripe would be pretty cool if you take a look at these eggs they were incubated probably a little too wet which I guess it's safer a little on the too wet side than the too dry this guy the bottom actually fell out of this egg when we picked it up the yolk but uh, they're cutting we always wait for the first one to cut we don't like cutting anything prematurely once the first one's cut we know that the uh, the eggs are all ready so we're gonna go ahead and open these guys up make sure they don't drown in their egg just like uh, any other species the placenta has a certain oh it's a sunfire look at that a little super dwarf sunfire and also for all you Garrett fans out there please talk Garrett out of leaving <laughs> It's just time. I've had a lot of fun while I'm here, but hey, we can't we can't work here forever. How would everyone else that's been watching YouTube forever get the opportunity to ever have a chance working here? Well, I'm gonna be here forever. Uh -oh. It's just because I'm too old to change. Well, you're too you're too cool like that. You're committed. Okay, so it there's a lav. A lav. So that very super dwarfy looking. I haven't seen a lav super dwarf in a long time. So they'll be 25% super dwarf, and then the uh, the father I think was a 62.5% dwarf. Right. So they're actually pretty high percentage dwarf. Daddy was a small guy too, and mom was a tiny little super dwarf. You can see it's a smaller clutch. There's another super dwarf lav. Yeah, tight patterns. Definitely got genetic stripe. Tiny, yeah. You can see the het G stripe on there. So this will help keep sizing down. We our dwarfs that come out of the genetic stripe line, a lot of them are very very small already and we've been selectively breeding for a long time to keep them smaller and smaller and and uh, this is an attempt at that add a little super dwarf blood in there personally I really like the ones that are only 25 percent super dwarf so they uh, they tend to be more colorful they're still very small um, you know the super dwarfs themselves the real high percentage super dwarf stuff a lot of times is is not very colorful so, if you're going to do some selective breeding, it's nice to add a little bit of that bloodline in there to size it down quite a bit. Adds, you can see, look at the cool patterns on these guys. That's just a normal, but that's a really neat looking pattern. And the Super Dwarf Albinos do look very good. So, I, I like the stuff that's like 25% Super Dwarf and a bunch of Dwarf blood all mixed in. Good looking snakes. Very Super Dwarfy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They sure look a lot like mom. Hey, have you yet to see an albino? Oh, I was just thinking I'm not haven't seen albino sunfire yet. But here you here's one. Looks like one anyway. What do you think, Tim? Could be. Maybe not. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Hard to say. I'll have to see that one out of the egg. That one's got some great color on it, but it doesn't seem like it has as much coverage as an albino sunfire normally does. Maybe that's the super dwarf influence. Yeah, that's very possible. Tightening the pattern up. It gives it less area where the sunfire can be expressed. We've got some high percentage super dwarf suns and they tend not to have as much orange on them. But the orange they do have like on that albino like that. Look at the colors on that. I think that's got to be. So far we're seeing all laughs. Now from a lav dad, you know, there's basically two, two f strains of albino that combine to make a lav. You get, when you get a het albino retic, it's either a het purple or a het white. So if you breed a lavender, yeah, if you breed a, a white to a purple, you get all lavenders. So a lavender to a het should always throw two color phases. Well, we just haven't hit a purple in this. Actually that one... Well, it's a very small very clutch light, too. That one might be a purple. So there should just be purples and labs because this female's a het purple. So. If she's a het for purple, yeah, you should get purples and labs. If you breed a lab to a het for white, you'll get labs and whites. There's a nice sunfire. Cool stripe. 
that looks neat. I like that super dwarf on there. This snake, was a, the, the female was about maybe a 16, 17 pound female. She was very, very small. And that was before she laid, so we didn't... Probably didn't, 10 pounds, really small less clutch. than 10 pounds. Yep, little and sunfire. Small clutch, but it, it pays off when it comes to selective breeding of high quality, and that's that's what we would rather have. Less of the right snakes rather than tons and tons of the wrong ones, you oh, know. Three albinos. Three albinos, and, and gosh, I don't know, I'd say not sunfire, not sunfire, and this one here. Possibly. If we can find the tail. I don't think it is. Doesn't look like Doesn't we got like it. it. Well, there you go. Didn't hit the odds, but eight. quest quest for quality, and you and you don't hit the odds. But you know we do have some Sunfire Super Dwarf 100% double head albino genetic stripes, some some Super Dwarf and Dwarf albino uh, het genetic stripes, and a lot of other cool stuff. So not a bad clutch, but when you're breeding with small odds and stuff, I mean. I really feel for you ball python guys out there. I don't know how you must feel. We shoot for one in 32 odds and breed the same pair of ball pythons for eight years in a row and not get what you're trying to get. But this is uh, this is tough odds for us in the retic world and still pretty dang good. So, anyways, guys, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. I don't know. <laughs>